What's up guys? So I just pulled up to Marsh Creek Skate Park. Um, I'm finally gonna get a proper session in with my Mesmers. I skated them for maybe 20 minutes on a parking curb, really just to break in my groove so that when I came to Skate Marsh, it wasn't like a fresh frame groove with uh, no cuts in it. But uh, today I'm actually gonna try to skate and see what I can do. Um, I'm gonna be skating flat for the first time in like 15 years. Uh, so far I haven't gotten any wheel bite, very little. Um, for those who don't know what flat is, these middle wheels, I'm, what I used to skate is 48 millimeter any rocker wheels, which are a lot smaller, so that you don't get caught up when you're trying to grind and doing your boot tricks. Um, these are 60 millimeter flat, but they're also 95A hardness, so they do slide a little bit more. Um, and they are on Kaiser Fluid 5 frames, which are made for flat. So it gives me a little bit more protection around my wheels, so I don't think I'm gonna have too much of a problem but I want to see how I do with that. And uh, let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, so um, I've been skating the Mesmer skates for about three sessions now. So I wanted to do a little first impressions and give my thoughts and opinions on the skates so far. Um, so far, I love them. Um, I've always been a Classic Throne fan. Anyone who knows me knows I skated Classic Throne for years and never had an issue with them. Um, so when Billy O'Neill announced that he was bringing back the Classic Throne mold, I was very excited and I didn't think I was gonna have any issues with sizing. Um, I do hear a lot of people saying that the skates are really tight at first. Um, they were tight when I was putting them on, but I did heat mold them before I skated them and it made a big difference. But uh, I just feel that sometimes you gotta skate them a little bit and break them in the old fashioned way and they will feel a lot better. Like there's a third session I'm on them now and they feel great. And they were, for, they were tight the first session, but after three sessions, they're, they're great. They feel broken in. I did heat mold them once. I uh, put them in 175 degrees for 10 minutes and then just rolled around my house for a little bit in them. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the sole plate. Um, it's pretty wide. I haven't missed any sole tricks. They slide really, really fast. And uh, I think that's a, a big bonus because I'm coming off of skating sways and then before that M12s and anyone who skated M12s knows those are some of the fastest sole plates you can get. But these feel amazing. They do slide just as fast um, and you still have a lot of control. The groove is pretty dope. Um, I did think I was going to have an issue skating flat. I don't usually skate flat, skate any rocker. But with the 95A wheels, I'm getting, if I do get wheel bite, it keeps sliding. You, you'll hear the squeak, but they, they just keep sliding and it's not an issue. It doesn't throw you or anything. And when that happens, it, it's very minimal. It's not something that it's, you're going to feel like you're in danger. Once you try a couple of Royales, like you'll get used to it really quick. Um, that also slides really fast. The frames are great. Wheels are great quality. Um, the skates have really good support, but also really good flex. They don't feel, they don't have any pressure points. So that's another big plus. Um, they are a little bit on the heavier side when you pick them up out of the box, but I do think that's because of the flat setup. But even so, like when I'm skating, I do not feel a difference between these and the sways that we're skating before at all. Um, so, so far I'm really satisfied with the skate. I'm really excited to see what else they do. Um, especially with the, the artwork on the soul plates. I'm an artist, so I'm a really big fan of that. Um, I haven't had any issues with my bolts coming loose. But I did have that in the past with, with Thrones, so um, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for that. I have heard a couple of people say that their bolts are coming out the first session, and I've definitely experienced that in the past with like the Feinberg Thrones and you know all the classic Thrones back in the day, but I haven't had that issue yet. But I do check my bolts every session, so um, hopefully I won't have a problem with that. But other than other, the liners are really comfortable. This tongue, 
I can't say enough is like the best tongue in in the skate game right now. Um, anyone who likes to skate and doesn't like their pants covering their skate, this is the best tongue you can have. It stays in place, it's comfortable. It's really like squishy padding, but it's really comfortable. And the liners are high, but they, they're not stiff at all. They're, they're really high quality. Everything on the skate is really high quality of plastic. So um, I'm excited to keep skating them. And hopefully in a couple months, I'll do a full review after skating them for a while. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to see what Mesmer does in the future.